Hi, this is uh, Vern Zaire. Um, I'm Hey Vern on the Lost Marble Forum, and I will be demonstrating a script to control switch layers for my parent bone layer by naming bones after the switch layers. Uh, this script controls uh, switch layers no matter how deeply nested in the document. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll be using a character wizard creature that I've created. Uh, the character wizard creates uh, different views of a character inside a switch layer. Um, inside each of these switch layers are multiple uh, additional switch layers um, for hands and for eyes and uh, the face for lip syncing. And the way the script works is you create a master, a top level bone layer. So I'm going to do that first. Create this bone layer. I'll call it creature control. And did I spell that right? Yeah, that looks good. All right. And so anyway, I'll drag the creature switch layer into that. And I'll start creating my bones to control it. The first one I'll create it creature and I named the bones exactly the same as the switch layer I want to control and then the next bone I'll create is a I'll call it mouth and then what you can do as well is uh, you can add a constraint an angle constraint uh, and I'll just do minus 90 and 90 and then what that does is that splits the number of layers in between the minimum and maximum uh, constraints on the angle constraint. Kind of helps. Uh, and then I'll do uh, I write I R and I. And I'll do some hand constraints. So I'll do hand R, and I'll just to save time, I'll paste it. Okay, so we're all set up and ready to go. The next thing I want to make sure I do is to um, release the. Um, I'm going to drag this in here, and I'm going to release the layer from the bone layer, so it's not influenced by any of the bones. And now I will add my script to that bone layer and and now we're ready to go so rotating the bone controls the views rotating the mouth controls the lip sync and if I change views and as you can see even though that all the switch layers are deeply nested it's it's keying all those switches and it's also placing keys in the switch layer. So if you go into the switch layer, you'll see that there are keys automatically placed. And that's just in case if you take if you remove the script, the the keys won't be lost. As you can see, even without the script, the keys are still in place. So let's put that script back in. And I'll run through the features. Uh, the main feature is that it will control scripts no matter how deeply nested in the document. You can also scale um, the bones. So scaling the controlling bone will scale the controlled the layer switch layer um, for all nested layers so they're all equally controlled um, you'll no 
notice that um, in this particular setup, the back layer has a different number. It only has one layer for the the left hand uh, for the hand switches, so it's not. It'll account for that automatically. Um, also, too, the front layer for the left hand is different than the other layers. Um, so you just want to take that into account, doing your own projects, making sure that all your switch layers are the same. Um, another feature that isn't demonstrated in this particular character, um, because it does not have any bones, but for example, if you had a switch layer that did have bones in it, um, then you could control the bones in that switch layer. So for example, if the if the character, uh, the creature layer had a bone in it, and I'll just um, I'll just throw one in just just to demonstrate. I'll call this a uh, sub bone. It's in the creature layer. I'll make sure it's not controlling anything. is in my I'll take this bone and I'll copy it it's called sub bone I'll go to my creature control bone layer and I'll paste that bone in so now we have a, an identical bone it's the same in the creature layer so we have sub bone in the creature layer and we have sub bone in the controlling layer and now if I rotate this bone in my creature layer that bone is also rotated so that's a nice feature you can control bones that are also in the sub bone layers so you can control all the bones in a that are that might be in a switch and you can also control scaling uniform scaling of the controlled switch layer and everything is keyed so if the script is removed you still maintain those keys all those keys are left in place if you make changes um, to your master bone control uh, rotations you will want to make sure that um, all those keys are updated just by turning off um, allow frame skipping and then just hitting play and it'll go through and it'll you know you run that through a couple times and that'll clear out and reset all the keys for each changed uh, control bone animations uh, I believe that covers everything and um, that's it thanks for watching and I love creating scripts so keep an eye out for more scripts for me and I'm Hayvern on Lost Moral Forum, and that's it.